In this video, I'm going to show you the asset route pathing report in run zero. Imagine if you have a laptop in the guest wireless network over here. And in a completely different part of the network, you have the server that has confidential customer data. Is it possible for somebody to move laterally from that laptop all the way out to this high value server? Now, obviously we don't want this to happen. And with proper network segmentation, it should not happen. But, you know, as we all know, uh, segmentation is often undermined by network misconfiguration or multi-homed hosts. Multi-homed hosts that we might not even know about. And networks are so complex these days that nobody can just visualize whether or not that network traversal is going to be possible or not. And you can run trace routes, true, but the trace route depends on where you run that trace route from and it only returns a single path. With Run Zero's Asset Route Pathing Report, you can see multiple potential network paths between any two assets within an organization. We do this through a unique methodology that uses both trace route analyses as well as subnet analyses of multi-homed hosts. Let's see it in action. I'm going to show you the asset route pathing report for a simple network traversal as well as a more complex one. This way you can get a feel for how it works in different situations. To get started, simply head over to reports and then scroll on down to asset route pathing and then simply select your source and destination. Click start trace and you have a graph of color coded nodes. Green means that this is the source, red means this is the destination. Blue indicates that this node is a standard layer three hop. And then orange means it's a multi-homed host, not a standard layer three hop. Now, as the administrator of this network, this report is highly interesting to me because this uh, 40 subnet over here is supposed to be entirely protected by this OPN sense device, firewall device over here. So I would expect any phones in the guest wireless network over here in the 30 network would have to go through the firewall in order to get to the 40 network. And yet, based on this report, I can tell that there is another path through this multi-home host. So this is definitely something that I want to dig into a little bit further and get an understanding of what's going on. And of course, we don't always have the luxury of familiarity with all the networks that we manage. So typically when looking at a report like this, uh, we want to bring in some asset context to get a better understanding as to whether or not there needs to be next steps. And this report does support that. You can uh, go to the asset details page of any node, any asset that has already been scanned by run zero. You can go to the asset details page to get a better understanding of the function of this asset, the ownership of it, as well as just any other details about that asset. And then couple that with this report to then make a determination as to what those next steps might be. Another thing that you can do with this report is to export it as an image. Here we have the same graph as a PNG, and you can ship this off to somebody who perhaps does not have access to the run zero console. Another thing you could do is to export a digraph of this network traversal. What you have here is a DOT file and it's a digraph. This is machine parsable. So you can use it in a programmatic way if you like. One thing that you can do with this is to generate an SVG based on it. I can open that up and show you. This opens up in Google Chrome on my machine. And here we have uh, the SVG of it as well. All right, let's hop over to a more complex network traversal. I had generated this earlier. Uh, very similarly, we start with the green and we can follow this path all the way through. We see uh, nodes of various colors. Here's a nexus of nodes that we go through and then we pop out on the other side over here and then we end up at our destination. Now I wanted to show you this more complex scenario for two reasons. One is so you can see how the report behaves. It's able to scale up to many, many nodes. 
The other thing is I wanted to show you how this report deals with nodes or hops that are not part of the asset inventory. So these nodes are marked in gray, right? And um, in many cases, we, we don't have the address, but in many cases we do. And in the cases that where we do have the address, you can simply come over here, click on it, and then scan this particular asset and then bring it into the asset inventory or search for other assets where this is a hop. I think this is a great reflection of how there's both a network discovery as well as an asset inventory aspect to run zero. And the two are brought together in a really cohesive manner uh, as we have here, where we could uh, go from network discovery to asset inventory and asset inventory back to network discovery. So that's it. Run Zero's asset route pathing report shows multiple potential network paths between any two assets in an organization. Some of these paths might be unexpected or even a surprise. If you're interested to learn about other Run Zero features and functions, please check out the other videos in the Run Zero product walkthrough series.